Another video that's posted on our website is called Basic Filtering. What this video is focusing on is building upon the things we talked about in that video and giving you some more tools to work with when you go to do basic filtering. For example, what you might want to be able to do is to, when you have a list of information, is to see the top eight, the top eight orders in a list. Rather than be overwhelmed with a long list, you can look at your top eight orders. Another thing you could do, for example, is look for anything that is between a range of numbers in your list. So this is a part two part on doing filtering. Again, it's a valuable tool when you're doing any kind of management of lists in Microsoft Excel. Enjoy the video. I have a worksheet open that I'll be using for doing some more advanced uh, filtering, but still using basic filtering in Excel 2010. An earlier video on our website talked about how you do straight basic filtering. An example of basic filtering would be as follows. I'll take my mouse out to the data tab. I'll click on the filter button. And all I want to see, for example, are the orders for a particular location. I'll click on the drop down arrow and I'll just remove the check mark next to two of the locations. In other words, all I want to see is the information for the Keswick location. I'll click OK. I've just filtered my data down to show orders just for that one location. Again, I have another video that goes into more detail about how you do the first part of basic filtering. I'm going to turn off the filter button by clicking on the filter area at the top of the, on the ribbon. What I want to do in this video, though, is, is focus more on some things you can do a bit more advanced in doing filtering. For example, I want to see all the orders in this worksheet that are greater than, say, uh, 3,000. So I'll turn the filters on again. I'll go to the arrow to the right of the cost column and click. Now, again, I get a list of all the different possible choices in the lower part of the window. But rather than use the checkbox area, above the checkbox area, there's an area, that's, there's a line that says number filters. I'm going to point at that for a second. And I'm going to move across and click on greater than or equal to. It takes me into a custom auto filter window. And in this window, I'm going to type in the number 3000. In other words, show me everything in the cost column that is greater than or equal to 3000. I'll click OK. And it gets me down to a shorter list of information. Only show me those things that are greater than 3000. I'm going to go back to the marker to the right of the cost column and click. I'm going to clear the filter from that column. So I can go through another, another example. Another example might be if you want to see the largest six orders, for example, in the column. So I'll go back to the cost column again and click. I'll go to number filters. I'll slide across and I'll click on top 10. Now, even though it does say top 10, it doesn't necessarily have to be the top 10. It could be the bottom 10. We'll go back to top again. It could be the top 11. In my case, I want to see the top six. So I'm just going to use the arrows to get down to six. I want to see the top six items. I'll click OK. And it filters it down and shows me the top six items in this list. Go back to the marker again. Click on the marker. I'll go to clear filter from cost to take off the filter. And one more example. I'll go back to the cost arrow again. I'll go to number filters. And this time I want to see all the orders that are, that are above average given all the numbers in column E. I'll click on above average. And what that does is just quickly filters it down, show me any of the orders in the list that are above, above the average of all the numbers in that column. I'll turn up the filters again by clicking on the filter button. I hope that you're starting to get the sense of all the things you can do with filtering in Microsoft Excel. It really helps to make your life a little easier as you're focusing on parts of a list rather than be overwhelmed with the list. We have lots of other valuable tips in using Microsoft applications effectively on our website. Our website is www.joecomputertips.com. Please visit our website on a regular basis. My name again is Joe Peterson, and I hope that you enjoyed today's video.